when it comes to home security cameras, I know we're constantly looking for something that is going to be good and not break the bank. Today, I actually have one called Owl Trend or Owl Owltron, maybe Owltron. I don't know. Um, it's a 1080p Wi-Fi smart camera. Um, it has a lot of cool features. So be sure you guys do check this out in the description below. It's about 30 bucks, I believe, which is a pretty sick deal. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you tested anything like this. And I'm going to show you guys how this guy works. So it's got two-way audio motion detection. It supports a TF card slot. Um, Cloud storage, panoramic patrol, night vision, encrypted multi-platform viewing. A lot of cool stuff here and a lot of um, interesting things. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so we're going to come here to my other camera. And yeah, um, box came up a little bit beat up, but it should be okay. Um, always interested to see like exactly how this stuff looks like. So first thing you get is, well, it looks like a box. And you're gonna have like all kinds of mounts. And within this mount box, you're also gonna get a power cable. Um, so this is the dock right here, the charging brick, and here are your cables. So I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff to the side. Now, of course, while we're opening this stuff up, um, you do get a, right there, a little reading material. Have it just in case you need it. And then of course, we are gonna get this guy so here is the, the the camera right there so yeah pretty good um i like these these cameras that do rotate like this that way you, you could move it around and get like a good sense of the surroundings and stuff so it's pretty nice so we're gonna go ahead and set this guy up um looks like here is your micro usb so it's gonna be the standard i always i always say i wish it was a usb c but that should be okay um, looks like this is a reset button right there. And as far as your TF card slot goes, if you do rotate this guy up, this is the TF card slot, slide in your, your, your chip and you should be good to go to save storage. So let's go ahead and set this guy up. Okay. So I'm here grabbing my phone. Um, and I am going to point this guy right at me here on the side. Um, pretty easy. You typically want to go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store, um, your iOS Store, whatever it is that you have, and just type in Owltron. So, um, yeah, it should be pretty simple. So it should look something like this, and just click install, and that's pretty much it. Now, when you do um, with these, I wish I could. I, I always, I, I always have my screen over here. That way, you guys could see exactly what it is that I have. Um, but I can't cast it because security cameras they kind of don't allow that stuff. It kind of acts a little buggy on the app. So I'll show you here. Um, what you want to do is when you get a pop up like this, it says it wants to send you notifications. Um, wants to, wants to get access to stuff, just hit allow for everything. And then if you don't like certain things, turn off later, but I always allow it because sometimes it acts buggy and it doesn't connect properly. So I'm just going to hit allow. There's a user agreement, agree to it. And I don't have an account. So sign up simple it says, put your email address and then you have to click that little checkbox that you agree going to send you a verification code so you got to go back you got to go to your email and open up that code and then just copy paste it it's going to set a password you well you set up your own password and that's it you're going to get like just some simple analysis and that's pretty much it so go to app and now we're going to begin to add the device so before you add the device um make sure you do connect it so make sure the usb is plugged in properly um and make sure this guy does turn on so here we go one thing too i want to mention is is how thin this is this is actually like paper thin which is great um that way you could hide it and do whatever you want so when you first plug it in sometimes it makes a sound a beeping right here i have like a little red light that just popped up um and then it'll begin to like rotate and stuff like that so every single of these cameras are slightly different there you go it just says wait to connect um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it right here on the side in the corner. That way you guys could kind of see it. Um, so there it is right there. It's a good little shot. Um, so it did, it didn't rotate or nothing for me. It just says waiting to connect. Okay. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and go to my phone here. It says add device. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this thing, power it off. 
and I'm going to wait about 10 seconds to power it off so that way it does a full reset. Also, behind the thing here, there's that button, that reset button. As soon as it turns on, I'm going to hold on to it um, for five seconds, and it's going to notify me and say uh, reset. It's just good to do this every now and then just in case. So it did make a beep sound, um, and I am going to now hit right here, add device, and you have a couple of different modes here. We're going to do, um, first. the first one we're going to do is we're going to see if this if this thing's going to be able to do it. So it says searching for devices, make sure your device has entered pairing mode. So one thing that I did notice is um, when this happens, click on that uh, turn on Bluetooth thing right there and you're going to get this thing right here. So go uh, allow nearby devices permission to, to go to set. So we're going to click on this. Um, we're going to go to permissions. So as you can see, it's right there, permissions. And then nearby devices. So just scroll down a little bit. Nearby devices is not allowed. So you want to click on this. You want to hit allow. Hit the back button. And then hit the back button again. And now that little Bluetooth thing that was here, it kind of just went away. So my device is still flashing red. And this thing is still in pairing mode. And the one thing I would recommend at this point, even though it's still flashing red right now, um, just because it, it's failed a couple times, I will hit that reset button. Um, wait for five seconds. Device reset. Says device reset. Let it go. And what it's going to say, it's going to take about maybe like another 30 seconds for this thing to say um, pairing mode. There it goes. Wait to connect. That's what it says. Um, and just let... Just let the app do its thing. So we're following it exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, so just give it a second and see what happens. So full disclosure, I've been doing this now for about five minutes. I've been sitting here waiting and obviously I'm cutting everything so it's not as long. Um, but I've actually had to do this multiple resets, multiple tries. And so far it hasn't been as easy for the app and the device to talk to each other. So the next step that I will do just because I'm getting very impatient about it is I'm going to click on add manually security and sensor. So we do have the cam W one. Um, so let's go ahead and click on that guy and it's going to say, um, reset the device. So power the device on make sure the indicator is flashing quickly and promptly, um, or a tone is heard. So we're going to go ahead and, um, reset it again, since this is the mode that we're going to go. And once, once the light begins to flash rapidly, it says down here, um, make sure power the device on, make sure the indicator is flashing quickly or prompt tone is heard. So right now the, the red is just solid. It's not flashing yet. Now it says wait to connect and it's starting to flash. So I'm going to hit that bubble and then I'm going to hit next. Now here, this is your Wi-Fi. You want to be sure you enter this guy. Um, make sure you are on 2G. Now you're going to get this QR code. You want to scan it. It says, please scan QR code 15 to 20 centimeters away. And it just said, start connect. So I don't know if it actually, I thought I was going to heard like a beep or something. It just says, I heard a prompt. It just, it's start connect. So that, I'm guessing that's what it is. And then connecting device, power it on. So just wait, just wait and see what happens. Now this thing just said connect success, but this thing is still going now again when i was testing this thing out earlier and i was trying to get it to connect it said connect success and then it said connect failed um so for whatever reason it's just not connecting properly now if it does connect for you and this thing says register on cloud initializing the device and it just keeps going forward cool you get to start playing with your device um for everybody else there's another step that we're going to take so it just screamed at me that said connect failed please connect again um, so I'm going to hit that X exit. Anyway, we're going to click on that cam one. Now at the very top here, where you see that little X it says QR code on the far right, click on that. And we're going to go on easy mode, um, switch to easy mode. I'm going to hit next, make sure you are on your password thing. Um, put the correct password, make sure you're on 2g. I've already double checked everything. All my stuff is good and then hit next and it's going to go straight to here. I don't have to do a scan code. So I'm just going to wait and see if this thing connects or not. Okay, cool. So now it says my, my security camera is connected. 
So I'm going to hit done. It's a connect success. So now this guy is starting to do its thing. So if you need to do that other option, that'll be the other option to do it. Now, I got to tell you guys, I've been doing this now. Again, I'm cutting everything so that way you don't have to sit here for an hour. But it's been an hour now trying to connect this guy to see how it works. So those are all the steps that you should take. And last resort, go to easy mode and hopefully that works. So this device security, blah, blah, blah. If you want to test, test it. And then just follow these screen. It's going to say, what do you want? Done, this, that. If you want to click on everything and read it, that's fine. I'm just going to hit done and go. So it says motion detected, obviously, because I'm right in front of it. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go ahead. And so here, this part is probably not going to show you guys exactly what I'm looking at, just because I know it's... Uh, you know, this is the security features of it. So um, the this thing is actually pretty quick. Me looking at it, look at this. One, two, three. So it's about half a second delay from what you're looking at on the screen. But when I'm looking at it, one, two, three, eh, it's, about, it's about half a second. So it's a slight delay. It's not instant, but it's pretty freaking close. Um, of course, if you, let's see, if you click on this guy, um, you have multiple options here and I'm going to try the camera here one more time to see if it works. It looks like it might be retrieving the stream. Um, so a couple options here at the bottom, um, you have that first one and that just kind of turns it that way. Um, if you click that arrow up on your phone, it should flip it back. Um, if you click that bottom part, you have your playback gallery, theme color, private mode, night device motion, um, a lot of things that you could set up. You have messages, direction, um, pretty neat what you can do with this thing. Now on the top right hand corner, you see the three dots. That's going to be your settings. Um, you have your security camera here, which you could rename it if you want. Um, you have your icon, take a photo, whatever you want. You could do location, tells you exactly where it is. Um, device information. I'm going to block all this stuff out. It says IP address, device, zone, all that stuff. Signal strength, 92%, not bad. Um, you could set up here with your Alessa device and your Google Home, which is good. Uh, tap to run and automation. So no smart scene automation uh, created yet. So you can create that stuff. You can go into a sleep mode. Um, the sleep mode, I actually kind of like this thing um, because what happens is this thing will... Well, it's supposed to stop recording and stuff. So if you turn it on, you got some basic function settings. Um, you got your status indicator, flip screen. You got put a time watermark, uh, two-way talk, camera calibration, IR night vision. If it's dark, it'll do that. Sounds, depending on the volume, you could do that. Detection alarm, cloud, just so many things here. Offline notification. You could share device. If I want to send this off to somebody else, I just hit add sharing. Um, and then I could add how many people I want to add it. You guys could follow all that stuff there. It's pretty, pretty good how, what, what this does. Um, of course, here at the bottom right there, you could do a restart device or a remove device. So if we do a restart, um, what it's going to do is it's going to shut the whole thing off and it's going to kick you off here. So I'm going to click on security camera um, and give it a second while it uploads again. Now, here it goes. Okay, so it just reset. The camera thing here is definitely not going to work while it's doing it, but at least you guys can see the settings. Um, so pretty much on the bottom part here, you have your picture mode, your mic. Let's test the mic and see how it sounds like. So let's try this out. Okay, so yeah, it sounds pretty clear. And if you do open it, you have a little microphone up there that you could turn off and on. So if you want to just turn it on just to listen in, you can. Um, if you're like, I want it off, you can just click on that thing and turn it off. So click it. Click it. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, so, yeah, not bad. Pretty loud. Um, <clears throat> with the videos here, it says allow app access to your storage. Just hit yes, hit allow, and then it'll start saving all this stuff right there, which is great. Um, some pretty good options with the HD mode here. You could go SD or HD and that will give you either better quality or if it's a little choppy, go down to SD. So that way you at least get some kind of video, um, click out of it. If you click on this guy here, it just kind of blows it up. Um, you could also do this. I wonder. Yeah. So if you do this, um, you could actually swipe and it'll, it'll go all over the place, which is pretty good 
If I come up and down, there you go. And you can see the camera right behind me. There also is a, um, I thought there was a directional thing here. So I guess it's just going to be just on the app. Um, pretty nice and easy to use. Now, if you do want to go to private mode, you click on that little arrow thing. And if you do click on private mode, it says device is in sleep and it'll just turn off. And then you could just click on this guy right here. And then it's going to say retrieving. Um, pretty good and easy. So I know it's a little bit hard to see it there, but at least you guys could understand exactly how this works. Um, let me know what you guys think. It is, it, again, it does take a minute for this thing to get set up properly. Um, those are all the steps that you need to go through. So it's not the easiest device that I've played with. Um, but again, it's, yeah, it, you, they have two colors, a black one and a white one, and it's about th roughly 30 bucks um, on Amazon. I'm gonna leave that in the in the description below. That way you guys can get set up pretty good. So, but let me know what you guys think. It's pretty. It's a pretty good device for the, for the price of it. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.